One of the papers in the last eight or nine years that's been very influential in my thinking was actually published in Medical Education, and it was by a colleague here at UBC named Glenn Regeer. The piece is called It's Not Rocket Science, Rethinking the Metaphors of Medical Education and Medical Education Research. He identified a number of different purposes for subtle research, and that was really helpful for me. He identified what many people have now come to call, I think Pat Hutchings and others have come to call, what works research. This is good stuff. You, you come up with some idea, uh, a new, new pedagogy typically. Uh, you do your very best to examine systematically the impact of that pedagogy on learning. Maybe you implement that pedagogy with one class, you don't with the other. Do you do your best to control all of the other factors, which is um, a hilarious attempt at, at best, but we do it. Um, and then you determine what the learning gain was or uh, how somehow this impacted students. And that affects practice. And I like that. But Glenn's article suggests that while that's valuable, that's not by any stretch all there is to do in subtle research. That was encouraging because in fact a lot of what's work or what works research, whether it be subtle or in other fields, actually uh, does not yield the kind of results we want. A lot of things don't work. We find that out. How discouraging should that be for faculty members who are investigating, for example, uh, changes to their own pedagogy? Glenn went on to talk about complexity and how understanding complexity was every bit as important as understanding what worked. That meant that much more of our research in SOTL can be descriptive in nature. It can be conceptual, theoretical. As we just try to understand with more clarity the complexities of learning and teaching. And I think that's what I mean when I say to advance or to expand our understanding of the phenomena of teaching and learning. That may help us politically, it may help us pedagogically. Uh, for me, uh, when I walk into the classroom with a better understanding of, for better, want of a better phrase, what's going on, I'm a better teacher. And that allows me to choose my pedagogy better. So that's why I like the word understanding, Nicola. And um, the idea that um, exploring complexity, I think, well, it's one of the one of the great perks of all research, and certainly of subtle research.